So today I'm going to show you uh, how to bring out no velocity, especially in uh, our NWL image. But you can use this pretty much uh, when you do narrow bend. You can use it for um, oh, like broad bend as well, but with broad bend you have to have lots of integration time to, to get this amount of no velocity. As you can see, this is the auto stretch. Uh, as I showed in previous videos, I'm going to process it a bit first. Um, cropping the image. Now we don't have any artifacts. I'm going to do a background extraction. Uh, this is serial software, by the way. Let's generate and remove the, any boxes near the, the nebula. With, uh, right, by right clicking. Okay, press compute background. And as you can see, this is the auto stretch done. Now, uh, I'm going to go to linear again. Uh, this, this date has about uh, four, three, or, three hours or four hours, I forgot how much. And I'm going to stretch manually. Bring out the lights a bit. Darken the background again. It's pretty easy when you get the hang, the hang of it. It comes automatic. Prevent. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to stretch the the, the data and to bring out the faint details in the background. In another video, I'm going to show you how to not blow out the Orion Nebula core. Because as you can see, as I'm stretching this, the core is getting blown out already. But you can prevent this. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the nebulosity only. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much stretched. Uh, you can see the date, the nebulosity here, but we're going to bring it out more. Now, close this, go to general hyperbolic stretch transformation, and go to a part where there is the nebulosity and do a crop like this. Uh, box and press the side dropper tool now what it does it's uh, bring these values to this to this here and we are going to stretch those pixels only I hope All right. as you can see when you stretch this now you, you can decrease this as well to, to lessen the stretch like this as you can see if you go crazy okay it's there are more reds, but as you can see, it brings out a lot of noise as well. So you we have to be careful to stretch this. When you do this with broadband uh, data, do, do, do the same I'm doing, but with all the colors, not, not with just the red. I'm doing just the red here because it's a narrow band image. There are more red. Uh, that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm going to stretch a bit more. No. Okay. Well, as you can see, uh, it brings out the velocity, but the colors are a bit off now. Uh, there's more. There's more red. I'm going to remove the red here and just stretch the green and the blue and bring some of the colors back. Because what will happen is if you keep stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching, only the red will show <laughs> at the end. That's what will happen. Now, as you can see, lots, lots of no velocity more now. Now we're going to go to do some more stretching. Let's try this. Okay, I'll try this. Uh, the noise, you can remove it on Graxper, so it's not a big deal. If you see the images a bit noisy as it is now, you can remove it by processing later. Okay. Now bring out the contrast a bit as well. The darkness you do it by your taste. I, I like it dark, but not not much dark that I'm clipping the data. And as you can see, there are a lots lot of nebulosity here. Uh, around the, around Orion, and uh, let me check 
I think I can bring out a bit of blue. It's a very sensitive game, this processing. Like, sometimes it takes hours. And you, you are not even happy with the image sometimes. And just to... Just, just for this video, I'm not even using Starnet. I'm just... To bring out the nebulosity. If you use Starnet and just process the nebula, it will be much better. But just for this video, I'm, I'm showing you this because I know some people don't have access to Starnet. So I'm keeping it simple here. And pretty much, pretty much this is the finished product uh, for the nebulosity. Now, I'm, I'm, in another video, I'm going to cover how to not blow out the score. The score is very sensitive of our end uh, to not blow out. I'm going to cover it in another video. I hope uh, this helps you out and please subscribe to my channel to help me reach more viewers and clear skies. I will see you next time.